is Wes Bruner. This is at Refreshments down at the farm. And I can't hear, but we love you. The views expressed in this presentation are those of the host and guests and do not represent the views of any lodge, grand lodge, appended body, or any other person or persons whomsoever. Welcome to the At Refreshment Masonic Video Podcast. I'm your host, Wes Reuter. I'm Raven 303 in Oswego. And uh, let's meet everyone else. We got uh, Brock from Raven 303. <laughs> you know these guys? <laughs> Yoshi, Villa Park Lodge, number 1113. A slew of other things. <laughs> Marty, your friendly neighborhood alcohol shaman. I'm all things masonry all the time. And we have two guests for you today, and they happen to be our editor and director and our new camera guy. Let's meet them. We got in the center. My name is Mark, uh, Barrington 522 and Filipinas 1180. He's the editor and director. And we got our cameraman over here. Woo! I'm Tyler, Raven 303, Oswego. He's the sex appeal on the show now. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, welcome them to the At Refreshment family. We know we have. So, uh, you know, thanks, guys, for helping us out with the show. We're glad to have you. Yeah, it's good to be so, here. So, um, be here. You can see we've got a lot going on on the table. Um, this is going to be our cigar, beer, whiskey, and Supremes review. So, we've been dying to do a cigar episode. And these here from uh, our good friend Marty over here. Yeah. Came from us from the Supremes, uh, where he bought them. Hiram and Solomon Cigars. Wow. Our uh, prophet from uh, Shia El Grado. Yeah, our, our monarch and monarch, prophet. Monarch. monarch. monarch Can yeah. you please uh, tell us a little bit about these cigars while we light them up? Well, generally, Hiram and Solomon's a great company. Um, I know it has a little bit of controversy because I was told it wasn't started by Masons, but all the sales reps and people I do get my cigars through are brothers that are very proud to sell these great uh, products with our regalia and insignias on it. The one I really wanted to bring for everyone was the Veil Profit because I picked it up at the uh, Grotto Convention and it's my favorite one of their line. And honestly, I'm not that good at when people smoke a cigar like, oh, I could taste the oak and like a 52 Ford on this and all this other crap. <laughs> but I can tell you what I like to smoke and this is something I definitely like to smoke. So I was very glad to bring it here and share it with you guys. All of them come in this really sweet coffin that say the Veil Profit and they come in this uh, big box right there. I picked these up in the uh, Miami Grotto Hospitality Room at the uh, Supreme Council session, and uh, really fair price cigar, somewhere between ten to fifteen dollars a profit? stick. Huh? Where's your veiled profit? I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's oh, fine. All right, no, no, he can. He... It's another brother owned <laughs> cigar. Yeah, it's another brother owned cigar. Yeah. You know, brother Luciano. You know, it's all good. Out of hey. Barrington. Yeah. Out of Barrington. Uh, uh, you know what though, Marty? Uh, I could have sworn that they they actually became members. The guys who uh, who run the company. Who are the owners of the company? I'll be honest, dude. I don't know what they did or what they didn't do. Okay. And the only people that ever kind of really complained to me about their Masonic history, I think, own another cigar company. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So speaking of Luciano, uh, how how did you get that one? I know you're not a big cigar guy, but tell us how you got that one. Um. Uh, you. I think I got this in no, the afternoon. Food. No, I just showed the label. Right. Show the label. Show the label. I don't know if it's you're probably too small to see. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 we'll hey. see if we can get a shot of that. But it tastes great, though. I know uh, Luciano does it. How uh, this is a uh, Picardo, a Picardo Classico Blue Label. I know I've had these before, and you know they're a really good smoke. I I do suggest uh, if you don't smoke these. often, it's a, it's a nice yeah. smooth medium, is what it, you would say, right? Yeah, I think that's about it. maybe a little bit lighter, I believe, um, than than a medium. Yeah, like the Blue Label. Yeah, correct. It's a nice, good, everyday smoke. Anything out of yeah. that line is really good. Uh, Bo Cook turned me on to a lot of those. Uh, shout out, Bo Cook. Bo Cook? Yeah. Bo Cook, yes. Uh, always love having a cigar with him. Yeah, and, Bo Cook's um, good people. I, 
you know, uh, like I said, we've been wanting to try these cigars, and so far this thing is wow, dude. This, this is, is actually. Really good. Uh, I don't know if it's just because it's got a Freemason label on it, but it's... Uh, no, honestly, good. no. To be honest with you, this is actually one of my favorite cigars I've ever smoked. This one and the purple label. I forgot what Which the purple is, I label... I want to say it's the Fellowcraft. It, it might be. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, but the purple label that they have is wonderful. Sorry about the language. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, drop, they're not going to hear it. We're going we're gonna to bleep it out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. That's going to be, be real fun. fun. I know. You're yeah, you're sure. <laughs> so how do you how would you guys describe the taste of that? Um, about as good as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> Mark's like, I gotta bleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I mean, at least for me, uh, since I do smoke a lot of cigars, um, I mean, like the first tastes that are coming out, I, I feel like it's like kind of like a creme brulee uh, taste to it, so it's like kind of like a creamy. Um, like burnt caramel type of a taste it's to thick. it. It sits there. It, it sits there, but it, it is good. It is it's, good. It's, it's still very right smooth. Now. It's not. It's not full. It's not full body. But, there's no, there's no yeah, spice. But, there's no like, spice. Yeah. There's not. Like, yeah. You don't get the spicy notes on your tongue. It's it's a very smooth cigar. This is smooth. But you know it. Um, I don't want to say earthy. I don't want to say that mm. at all. Um, this is probably the least eloquent way to put this. In. Everyone at home, keep in mind, I drink all the wine and Jim Beam all the time. So my palate's questionable at best. I also eat at Waffle House a lot. Uh, Mark's more of the guy who could describe it. But it's definitely, I would call it a powerful cigar, a smooth, no, a smooth cigar, but yet it's powerful. It's got some nuts on it. Yeah. That's how I'd call it. Oh, you want Do, yeah, you want torch? Yeah, let me see a torch. I you can figure out which guys actually smoke on the show and which guys don't. Yeah, I got a Pretty small. Uh, where's, the, where's the other one? Dysfunctional yeah, burning pattern. Yeah, you might want to start sucking that in. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's got to get adjusted, probably. That's all right. So, uh, in addition to cigars, yeah, there we go. We got beer, we got whiskey. We got a bunch of other things going on here. here. Um, Tyler, I know you don't really uh, smoke cigars that much. What do you think so far? I like it. <laughs> That's all I get. It, it goes really nice with this. Uh, Bourbon Marty brought for us, and uh, you got to dip the end. I, you got to no dip way, the end. Dip the end I'm in, in it. I'm in no way a uh, cigar connoisseur. Well, um, but I enjoy a good cigar once in a while. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty good. Anybody got what a about uh, bottle this, opener? This whiskey here. Uh, well, Marty, that you got. I think we're doing beer first. Right? Yeah, we're. Are we gonna gonna beer? You know what? Yeah, we need a. Open? We need a bottle opener. So you know what? Talk about the whiskey Here's first. Here's lighter right here. Well, uh, let's see if we got it. We're gonna be a little bit all over the place on this episode. Yeah, I think so too. But when I was down in Louisville, Kentucky with uh, Mark here, we were at the uh, Grottoes of America, North America convention, and this was the, my favorite distillery I stopped at down there. It's Peerless. It's kind of off 10th and Main Street in downtown Louisville. Okay, give me a little... Uh, little it's a little bit uh, yeah, off yeah, the yeah. beaten path of the bourbon trail, but it, wow. Just a small taste. Yeah, there's a little small taste in there. Well, I might as well just fill these all up. Though. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Might as well. Fill them up. Yeah. Just but uh, So I got to really go in there, and I was very blessed on the tour... We ended up, uh, me and my fiance, we were in there with uh, industry people who were actually their distributors from Florida, and um, a guy, um, some bourbon blog that we're probably tagging us in a friends with on Instagram right now, uh -huh. and I had this stuff, we went through four different tastings while we were there, we did the full tour and everything, and uh, it was great, this was the best stuff I had while I was in, you know, the hometown of bourbon, really, and I really just wanted to bring it on the show, it's not Masonic related, but it's definitely a bunch of men using their hands to make something great, and that's masonry at its core. So I wanted to give a shout-out to uh, Peerless Distillery on 10th Street in Louisville. You're doing it, and you're doing it well, and uh, thank you so much. Well, and thank me, too, because I spent over, I spent 125 bucks on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, Marty. Marty. Thanks, Marty. Hey, Marty. Thank you, Marty. Yeah, we're all right, you guys, those guys. But uh, either way. Well, you, we, hey, you're the one who bought it and brought yeah. it here, so. Yeah. All right, so we're going yeah, to be doing this a lot this episode. Cheers to this. Cheers to yeah, this. here we go. Course, Take a little time. Of course, I wanted the one with the bullet. Now I can't dip my Sip. cigar in it. I already poured a glass. That's good. Ooh. It's really nice. Yeah. It goes good with the cigar, man. It, goes it awesome really does. Because the cigar, you have that that smoky taste in your mouth already, yeah. and then you dip it in. Dip it in. Whew. Well, I don't want to go too hardcore. Yeah. Right, it's cool as you. Was. Yeah, that's that not was, that uh, hardcore. You dip it in. I had a lot of great the... bourbon while I was in Kentucky, but that wow. definitely took the cake. Well, I went out and got some beer, because, you know, we're beer aficionados on this show. 
Um, this is uh, Dead Guy Ale Rogue. I never had this, but there was a cool skeleton on it, and I figured, what the hell? And uh, you heard of this, so... Uh, yeah, I've had Rogue. Yeah. You've Rogue, had this, too? Rogue was so, actually, um, has been around since that, no? before a lot of the craft beer stuff started. Yeah, they... I, that, I, was, yeah. that was OG. This is OG. Well, yeah, the whiskey had a, such a cool back taste, oh. man. Finish your fucking. It's a really good bourbon. That's why yeah, I said only put my... that put a little bourbon in the shots because we're this is what we're gonna be doing. Yeah. But no, Rogue's been around before. Uh, you know, there was a microbrew in every strip mall, and everyone's talking to me about some peach seasonal barrel Let's go. aged. Let's go. Yeah. Wrap. Here, Drink. take it, take it, and give Tyler some too. Of course. Yeah, don't forget about that. Yeah. Can't forget yeah, about yeah. <laughs> can't forget about them. Otherwise, we so, can't. Oh, uh, you can't see this. Uh, can't Did see you this. see any breweries that were open out there? Or? Uh, oh fuck. Um, no, no, just a lot. Of, I would say probably about when I was out there. There's been a little bit of a, a little bit of a race war riot happening in this country for good and wrong reasons. Yeah. And Louisville was terribly affected by it. So I'd say only about twenty percent of the town was open there. We saw. Wow. It. Yeah. It was, and plus COVID shutdown with a lot yeah, of was stuff. Was that any of the COVID stuff also? Oh, wow. that's nice. Chaos in the world. Yeah. It's the chaos, general chaos. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was there was a couple stuff that was open, uh, but it was just very inconsistent. Yeah. You know, like my wife and I wanted to get um, some burgers. Went to a place they were closed. They didn't even say they were closed. Wow. Went, went next door. The guy was like, "Well, I'm sorry. I'm I'm uh, I'm having like a um, like a catering thing, so I can't help you." I'm like, "You can't make four sandwiches." Uh, okay, sure. Yeah. You know, so it was it was just very <laughs> hey, you know what dude hey you didn't want your money so, yeah how you know? was travel did you guys drive or yeah we drove and it was it was quick I mean it was just down you know yeah it's I, not I-, I 65 so well, it's, yeah, like, it's, it's like a bad. four or five hour uh, trip you can right? do it yeah. Yeah. four four and a half if you stop it becomes five okay so but no going down to Louisville for the Grottles of North America convention was a true treat um I know you know we're gonna talk about it and while we're enjoying this beer and. I like this rogue. I wish it had a little bit more hoppy flavor, though. It's not hitting me in the mouth. You know what? Hold on, hold on. I with the cigar, it. yeah. Good. Yeah, try it yet. I, yeah, it, let me give it a I'm try. really enjoying that, that whiskey on this cigar. Yeah, the it goes really good. smooth yeah. when you put it on. Actually, you know what? I like this. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's fine. It, it's good. I'm definitely trying it. It has to be a little bit colder because I got it. It wasn't that. It wasn't cold when I bought it. <laughs> I get by with some guy on the street. Finney's. Some guy on the street. Oh, it's not worth drinking. It's not at Finney's. Is that their slogan? Yeah, I think so. Is it really? Yeah. Hey man, I love Benny's. I love Benny's. So, what about your guys' arrangements when you guys were traveling out there? So, you guys all stayed at the same hotel in, in the convention, or yeah. how they how hosted was that the all? convention at the Galt House, which is one of uh, Louisville's classic hotels. It was the 130th um, Grouse North America session, which is the same to our Grand Lodge. We just do it on a national level because we're structured a little bit differently. Uh, pretty great. We had about 180 people, uh, voting members registered, and with family and friends. I think at the Grand Monarchs Bank was about. 260 around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So down severely from last year, which is in like close to a thousand. Yeah. And with COVID, you yeah. stayed under the 250, 260 area. You know, I think, isn't that like the minimum I supposedly? Do. Yeah, something. And dude, everything's different right now. I mean, we're literally recording this show. This is actually, I think the intro should say we're at the farm episodes because we're at Tyler's. Farm yeah, right we're, now. I'm sorry. Yes, this is the farm series. So when you see this background, we're down on the farm. Uh, Tyler has a farm. Well, He'll tell us about it when he gets back on camera. He's doing his job like a good camera guy should. Dude, that's funny. Like I just think of Bob Evans when you say that Don. <laughs> I'm back. But so, no. uh, to- yeah, it was a great setup. I arrived on Monday. It was a seven day long convention. We had uh, days upon days of fellowship. A lot of great outings. We did the boat tour. Uh, so many different dinners. We really only had the boat tour. Uh, right there on the Ohio River, we uh, chartered uh, some type of paddle boat. I, Very cool. You, you know how I Very, know it was a good uh, time? Because anytime I seen you or talked to you, you were f***ing drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I wasn't quite what? drunk. What? Is Mari drinking? No. I wasn't drunk. No, I no. Was grotto you, no. approved. I, <laughs> yeah? Okay, you were grotto approved. You were <laughs> you, grotto hard. Grotto yeah, harder. The, the hey, shot at work. When you called me, you were like, what's up? I just love you, baby. <laughs> Like Telly Sabal. Well, what's going on, man? I, yeah, I'm driving. Uh, I'm, so no, was, no, I'm just having a good a, time. Uh, I love you, man. I love you. Yeah, well, I missed everybody. <laughs> Everyone should have been there. It was in a weird year. But dude, you know what, man? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it killed me not being down there. You were, you were saying? Well, I was just gonna say, uh, you know, yeah, it is kind of like you were saying. It's a bummer that we all couldn't have been there. You know, it's like, shoot, if it wouldn't have been so crazy, you know, where it would have yeah, been like the years in past where. 
Yeah, exactly. Where there's a thousand people that normally show up for this, and yeah. it's it's like kind of like uh, you know when Grand Lodge happens. You know, it's kind of one of those big events. So. You know what was so funny about it too? The age groups that actually went to this. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. When, and what you're about to expect me to say it was like it was like like the young or something, right? It was twenty five to thirty five and eighty five and to up. yeah eighty five to Civil War. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's and very it was, cool. And it was so cool meeting all these old timers who not only would like COVID like often like a breeze could take down some. God bless you all. Um, but it's true. And yet like, you saw these people and they're like, no, this is the convention. We go to this every year. Like, like pandemic be damned. Like shout out yeah. to Bernie Mitchell for that. Yeah, Bernie Mitchell, you're the man. I got your award this year and I love you, Bernie. Bernie. Mitchell. We can have Bernie's. Um, so, uh, tell us about your farm. You grow hemp and uh, beer on it, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, because that's the next beer we're going to talk no. about, right? Oh, this isn't your brand? No, nope, this is not oh. mine. I, I actually... You uh, fooled me. The fiance and I took a trip up last week to Mackinac City, and uh, I bought this six-pack at a bar. I can't remember what bar it was due to too many of these, but they are... Uh, they're pretty good. They're called Hemp Tails, so it's uh, it's beer and hemp, and uh, yeah, they're potent ones, eight percent, but they uh, they're pretty tasty, I gotta say. Yeah, we yeah, had uh, we had some yeah, a little bit awesome. earlier, so uh, yeah, let's little pass little it around and, and give it a shot. I got blessed by the best. Did, I'm sorry, but this cigar is getting better by the second. Yeah, Once we start rocking and rolling, wow. I mean, oh, dude, oh, I, dude, sometimes a, a, to me a cigar can start off bad, but when you start keep smoking it and smoking it, the flavor changes and it gets better. Yeah. I don't, so, you know, so, you know what, me I don't know what that is, but that's Mark, what I found. Yeah, Mark, personally, know. like, you know, sometimes the first, the first, uh, when you first light it, it can be a little yeah, rough, yeah. but my, in my opinion, a lot of times smoking different cigars, it gets kind of rough towards the end. Once you get to, like, the two-inch yeah, mark, yeah, three-inch so, mark, it starts getting, it starts, it's like, whoa. Yeah, is, so, so for the cigars, really, I mean, like, everybody, like, almost kind of Divide is in the third, you know, first third, second third, last third. And um, it really kind of just changes throughout because, I mean, if you think about it, you know, so here's your cigar. You're burning it here. It has all this smoke to kind of, like, cool before it gets to your mouth. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you start smoking it here, you're just getting hot smoke. Yeah. yeah so, so, I mean, like, my actually, like, kind of rule of thumb is I actually just use my thumb. And, like, pretty much, like, once I start getting to, like, like the first knuckle, I just start throwing. I just throw it away. I don't really like, See, you know, roach clip it or anything. No, you know what? I'm kind of okay. Yeah, know, about I, that, like that. You're saying? Yeah. Something like like that. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's about where thumb, I stop yeah. smoking it. See, yeah. I don't do it like that. Like I get when I get to about a <clears throat> when I get to about an inch or two is when I let it die, and then I kind of I kind of I don't want to say chew. Like, yeah. I don't, I, I'm, 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 but like I kind of like I bite, I bite into it and I kind of just leave it there. And I just have it hanging out. Yeah. You yeah. know, you yeah. know, after a little bit. Kind of like the Wolverine. That's kind of how I do it. There you go. Yeah. You know, you got the, you know, you get down to a certain, you know, Man. a certain level and then you just hold on. All right. This is the, it, wait, this is the beer. It's, it's sweet. Hemp, this this is the hemp. Yeah. It's, it's very, it's actually sweet. pretty good. It's very it, it, citrusy. It, it, yeah. It's yeah. Good. It's very citrusy. It tastes like a wine. Yeah. I can see the appeal. It, was it so does taste like oh, weed. Oh, wow. That's good. Isn't that it? Wait, that's it. Wait, hold Wes, that's like weed. It really? does, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think it's Michigan made. Does it say in there? Dude, you know what? I'm I'm going back in for a little bit more of those. those okay, yeah, 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 that's pretty good. Was, this was really Maybe good. It, it is good. It is taste. good stuff. It has like an earthy taste to it. That is freaking It's phenomenal. different. It's different. That is, wow. Huh. It almost it smells like... Oh, man, that is that is tasty. Wow. Um, I don't know if it's a beer of Michigan, but I bought it. I don't in know. Michigan. My eyes are bad. I'm getting. Take old. a look at it. <laughs> I am, dude. Jeez. Um, Rochester, New York. Okay. Oh. oh. So, bah, bah, bah. Still pretty good, though. It's still, <laughs> it's still <laughs> good. From New York City. New, New York, York City. City. <laughs> to all of our uh, fans under thirty, will not remember. That. <laughs> no, yeah. no, they won't. No, they that's, won't. That's Holy an shit. old commercial for uh, what salsa Pace, was it? Pace, 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 Pace Picante. And uh, do you know uh, Mr. Pace Picante was a Mason? Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Good. No, no, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <No, you, laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Pace Picante is probably like a brand created by Kraft. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> hey, shout out Mr. Pace Picante. Brother Mr. Pace Picante. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that is some... <laughs> oh. Oh. Dump, yeah. please. Dump, 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 dump. So, um, you also got a couple different cigars here. Uh, I yes. know, I, 
my usually go go to cigar is a Camacho or a, a Toro Fuente, and I know I ask you to pick this up to me uh, for me, yeah. uh, but uh, this is really good. Um, I know they have a couple different labels, and you got one here. Uh, yeah, so tell us about these cigars. So I mean, like th these are just actually here's another Camacho. This is a green label, um, but I just wanted to bring out like kind of like show like the different sizes and shapes of the cigars. So I mean, like you know. I knew this was going to be a Masonic podcast, so I brought out a Churchill. Nice. You know, nice. Brother, Brother Churchill. Brother Churchill. I mean, he was well-renowned for smoking the, cigars. The, right. So these are the actual ones that he smoked, or that's just named after It's him. just named after him. That's the size. It's called a Churchill size. Uh, okay. so, so it's going to be kind of like longer. This will probably last you, if you sit and relax, probably an hour, hour and a half. Wow. Uh, so, so these are the yeah Churchill size. It's actually a Romeo and Julieta. So, I mean, it could be oh, like nice modeled after him. But I mean, this is this is what he he smoked usually. R Romeo yeah. and Julietas are really really they good. Are. I like those well, your, not all, of them, but they're, they're a good portion of them are. Those are your like call uh, your OG cigars. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, so you're you're really into Camacho. I yeah I That's, like the I mean like I said they're my go-to. I think they, a good go -to. Go -to. they it they, is they, a good go-to. You know you could smoke it every day. I don't smoke every day, but it is something that I feel like I could definitely smoke every day. Right. Um, if I chose chose to, but yeah, I, I like the flavor. It smokes no, really they are. well. Yeah, they're really good. You know, I can't really say anything bad about it. Yeah. I mean, they're usually about ten bucks a stick, so yeah. decent price. See, uh, me personally, my my go-to cigars are uh, Monte Cristos. Uh, especially white labels. Yeah, white labels. I, I, dude, you give me a Monty, I'm, I'm happy. I am super happy with a Monty. You know, and uh, those, those, those to me are, are just really, they're, they're just a really good all around smoke. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not full. It's not well, depending on what brand you get, which one you get. You know, it's, you know, they, they do have full body. They have, you know, every, every company has. You know, a range of you know from you know full body to light, you know. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, but the white label is a good, solid, just smooth, sit back, relax cigar. Mm. And uh, that's that's uh, it's one of the like I said it, that's that is my to go to. Okay. And um, yeah, well, it, yeah, those are pretty good. I've had I've had a couple of those. They're they're not bad. Um, but uh, we're gonna have to take a break because our cameras are gonna shut off. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but. You said you're going to work on that. So I'm going to work on that. <laughs> He's yeah. working on that, guys. You're going to cut it out. Technical. So. No, we're not Technical. cutting it out. Yeah, no, I'm the editor. Leaving I'm leaving it, it in. in. Yeah. <laughs> then I don't care. I'm so. just saying our cameras haven't done that since like 20 episodes ago. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. We'll be back. And we're back. Uh, once again, this is our uh, At the Farm series. <laughs> Bob Evans. Uh, the Cigar, Bob Beer, and Whiskey Review and Supreme's Review. So uh, here's one of these um, uh, beers I, I uh, took from a good well, brother sure. of mine, Tony. Uh, it's called Two Women. Uh, new, uh, new Glarus. New Glarus Brewing Company. Great so, and that's, uh, that, that brewery's so We're going to try this. Thank you, Tony. You don't know. I know you don't watch the show, even though you're a good brother, but Wisconsin. thank you for all the beer. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> shout out to so, New Glarus. That's a completely employee-owned brewery. It's yeah. People into their whole setup. New Glarus. Put a link up maybe in the description. That is a good brewery to support. I've seen Spotted it here in the label. Is awesome. Spotted Cow is yeah. the best. That's like their... That's like we their, got a Spotted Cow in there. That's the drive across we'll the state get line beer to get. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> go grab the Spotted Cow. We'll do that one next. And then I guess... Do have the, a Spotted Cow? Yeah, yeah there's a Spotted Cow in there. Go, yeah, go, go grab it. I'm the, uh, you know, our, and the camera guy. Yeah. <laughs> our good friends from... Grab uh, it live! From We're across the, the cheddar curtain that brought us some, some spotted curtain. cow that yeah. one time. And, uh, it was I had some brothers reach out to me from Wisconsin. Shout out to you guys. They want us to do an episode behind the cheddar curtain. They want us to go <laughs> to Wisconsin. They, yeah, they want us to oh. film it like an Odd Fellow Lodge or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Okay. But they're they're still going through. They're not like meeting yet this year. They still got some stuff with COVID handling. So it, it will be a minute, but oh, it's oh, in the works. Oh, but it's oh, in the oh, works. Contact you? Uh, some brothers from Wisconsin. Okay, you just don't want to say right. That's fine. Yeah, so don't say, don't say the names. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, we don't want to. Brother Hiram and Brother Solomon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> John Paul Jones. Yeah. yeah. John Paul Jones. <laughs> I actually know John Paul Jones. <laughs> he, he was a great basis for Led Zeppelin. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Awesome. I think we're using oh, the name command. That's tasty. Yeah. That is tasty. Yeah. That is yeah. very tasty. Yeah, I mean, two I, women. 
two women. Hey, yeah. No, that, hey, you know what? That says enough. Ooh, yeah, that's that's, that says enough white teeth. What is that? Like a raspberry or something? No, no, no. It's, what uh... It, uh gosh. What uh, is that? Floral bouquet? I don't know. Dude, don't it tastes... There's something... Essential there. oils, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. like something like, yeah. uh... The same essential kind of oils, oils that, like... It's an ale. It's an ale. Uh... Yeah. There's a regular ale. No, but there's a little it's bit of... It's actually a little bit more, uh, li lighter than I thought it was. Oh, yeah. My no, God. honestly, like that good. It's good. It's really good. So, I know during the break, you guys wanted to talk about uh, cutters and all that stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Tell us the so, different cuts of uh, So, there's cigars. different cuts of cigars. It also just kind of depends on, like, the cigar itself. Yeah, the shape of the cigar. Si the shape of the cigar. Know. So, like, this one's a box press. So, like, a V-cut would probably yeah. work. A V and a punch, depending on... See, and then also, you know, the circumference, they call is a gauge. That also depends on what the gauge of the cigar is. Sometimes, you know, uh, a punch works good on the bigger gauges. Um... Straight cut. I mean, there are some cigars their gauge is too big for most. Yeah. Cigars. Yeah. So so for here's most com yeah for most common straight cuts. Sometimes the gauge only it'll only nip the tip. Yeah. That's why you want uh nip the you tip. would want a punch cut a punch cut. Uh, um, some some people prefer like the the V cuts here. Yeah. Uh, so there's no really wrong or right way to, I, to I cut a cigar. A v -cut. Who has the V cut? I'm I have a V cut. All right. Show, try try, try and show this V cut to the camera. I don't know. I, I don't know if you, know you guys can even see it. There's the V cut, and then if you do now, this is kind of fancy. Like so I don't know like who made it up or whatever, but if you do multiple V cuts, you get something that they call a crown cut, and it looks like the top of your cigar. It looks, it like, looks a like a crown. If you look up cigars on Instagram, you'll find a lot more. Oh yeah, you, oh ones than way that. better than yeah. this. This is garbage. The way I did it compared, like some guys get it like there is like four to six lines. Yeah, it looks like wow. it reminds yeah. yeah. me of a whole song. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. Some, no, it's true, yeah, man. Some nice, people are like cool. wow with it. Yeah, like yeah, but you know. So uh, what about the did, punch though? So the punch just it just puts a little. It puts a hole. It just that's punches it. Think a hole. Like, like, like you yeah. know, uh, hole puncher. Yeah, think of that. And so it just but all, you were saying for a bigger gauge. So is it harder to smoke through the punch? Versus... No, no, no. Oh, you, look at that! You got an Asian beetle on you. Oh, oh yeah. I thought it was Walking a ladybug, and I thought it was gonna be uh, lucky, but fly away, <laughs> little one, fly away. No, so I mean, but I mean, it just also depends too, because I mean, <laughs> some, the because some cigars, <laughs> no, he didn't, because some cigars actually have like a pigtail, you know. Yeah. So you're, you're going to need oh, to okay. actually like cut it off with like a V cut yeah. or a flat, uh, flat cut. A flat so. a, when when it's a torpedo like that with the with the tip, a good a flat cut, uh, in my opinion, works the best for the ones that kind of have the tip. And so, how much know? do you cut off in general, like an inch or a half like, inch? Like, you, what do you, you say? You want to just nip the tip, like really. If it's, <laughs> so just I mean, the so. Tip. So you kind of want to, you'll see on like most cigars, you'll see the cap. You can, yeah. If you um, really look at it, you know. You, you want to cut the, like right where the cap is. You yeah. don't want to like cut down here because that's just going to unravel the cigar. Yeah. He's back. No, and the worst feeling in the world is when you cut too much and you unravel it and you're sitting there oh, smoking. Oh, yeah, smoking it. Oh, and you're getting unraveled. a little bit in your mouth and you're yeah, yeah, yourself. You're, yeah, you're mad. you spend, you know, 20 bucks for the stick yeah. so you want to try to make the best of it. Yeah. Well, you end up chewing on it, man. That's, yeah. What about the people that chew on the ends? What's up with that? All right, you know what? That's honestly that okay. The whole chewing thing—that's like preference. Like me personally, when I get to, when I get down to about an inch or two of the cigar, I'll let it die out on its own. I'll stop like puffing on it, and then I kind of do like the Wolverine. You know, I just put it like on a fryer, yeah, and kind of bite down so it has like the grooves of yeah. the teeth, and you just you like, just kind of like I, leave it there. Now I'm yeah. picturing you with the Wolverine chops. You know what? I want to do that. Off. I want to do that, but the uh, the wife uh, won't let me. <laughs> the wife won't let me do that. <laughs> hey, look! I'm glad I get away with what I got right now. So. <laughs> yeah, man, the beard's yeah. fantastic. Dude. Thank you, thank you. You're married, guys. All right, so uh, we got another beer here, the Spotted Cow. That uh, is the most famous thing New Glarus puts out. Yeah. Yes. Like the two women, all the and totally naked. They're Oktoberfest. A lot of their other ones. Yes. Nice Fat Squirrel. Too. Yeah, they're good. But if if you want to know their name brand, if like their you know Mustang yeah. of their line, yeah. it's What's the that? it's the Spotted Cow. And I'm actually a pretty big fan of that beer. I like. I think out of New Glarus, their Oktoberfest is my favorite. But that is such a solid go-to, and like when you see it, you get excited. Mine is, is nice. either spotted cow or bubbler. I like, I like bubbler. That's good too. So, but you actually had this at uh, Supreme. Yeah, actually, uh, Shio Grotto. We did run a hospitality room one night. Yes, we did. Um, it was the most insane hospitality room. We went through a lot of uh, a lot of refreshments. But the two beers that we did offer in our room were Goose Island from Chicago yes. and uh, New Glarus from Wisconsin, just kind of representing our home area and where we're at. 
you know, like like the Wahoo Grotto Room last year, they were all about the Lone Star beer and all that. Very so we're trying cool. to bring that regional flair to the hospitality, which is important to really have, you know, your name brand and what, you know. Did you bring any old style in? We should have. We should have. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you, you know what, I might, I might, I might do that for Orlando. This yeah. is yours? <laughs> yeah. Where'd you get this one? I don't remember. Okay. I like this one. Yeah. It's nice. I have a punch. Actually, it's funny. I'm sorry to cut you off or anything of what we're talking about. I have a punch. Uh, actually, I think I have it with me in my book bag. I'll try and bring. Oh no, we're only doing one more segment. Well, anyways, it looks it looks like a pen. So you can hit like if you have the yeah. suit, it looks like a very fancy pen. But then you pull it out, and you're like, wait a minute, where's the rest of it? But it just pulls out, and you just you know. Uh, so true story. There, he used to have a really nice pen and lost half it. He's been bluffing ever since. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, what else happened at Supreme? Can you tell us, uh, you met some, uh, other podcasters out there? Yes, uh, from Ubar Grotto. Uh, Masonic Eight. Light, right? Yes. Yeah, they were out there. I was well, I don't know. It's your story. I wasn't there. You told me about yeah, it earlier, so you. I'm my, confirming no, you, your story where st- I wasn't my there. My story from, uh, Supreme is a little bit, uh, clouded. A lot of bad judgment. Well, that's why it's funny. Yeah, but no, <laughs> uh, I got I, stories. Um, and honestly, and as of right now, I'm super embarrassed to say this, but I'm going to say it because I love you guys. I don't know if I met them or people that knew them. And I <laughs> they were imposters. Wow. You told me oh off camera. My yeah, they were like, oh oh my my God. God. No, 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 no. I, when I told you that, I truly believed it. But when I realized I had to put it on public record, <laughs> I just wanted to get some stuff out there. Oh, you should have told me that or else I wouldn't have said anything. So. Well, I think it's better that you did. We yeah. apologize if we... Marty we didn't even call you guys out, but Shout if we out. did see you there, then. yeah, yeah. If Marty did see you there, yeah. thank you. <laughs> and if I didn't see you, you were there with me in spirit, and I love you guys. <laughs> and hopefully, you guys got some <laughs> coins, <laughs> man. Hopefully, uh... yes, yeah. Tell us, you yes. passed out a bunch of coins. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, oh, yeah. as you can see here, we got we got the um, refreshment coins, which I uh, decided to. Uh, we had a bag, and I just put it out on the table, and also put it Great. in um, in oh gosh, uh, glaces on. Uh, Table as well, too, in his room. Yeah, we were uh, throwing pretty much the ad refreshment vibe out there. And we, we get a lot of love in the Grotto realm. And thankfully, Victor Mann did an episode, who is our grand venerable prophet now. And it really helped get us kind of exposure into that world. Then. All right, here, guys. Uh, honest question. Since you two were there. We were. Uh, in spirit. How many uh, How many you think got, uh, got taken and how many got pitched? Of, of humans? No, coins. <laughs> coins. Yeah, oh. the alien invasion came what? down to the grotto. And yeah. well, hold on, I got scared there for a minute. You said humans, now all of a sudden we got that one commenter. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. well, that's another, we'll talk yeah, about that. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that guy. Yeah, but, but uh, I'm, I'm hopefully well. You know what, though, but you like, okay, looking at my suitcase, it's just full of <laughs> random swag. Yeah. And it ends up yeah. in that, like, Masonic swag drawer we all have, of, like, random lapel pins from, like, some lodge and, like, Boise, Idaho, that you end up with, and all this stuff. Um, I would feel a safe 50 50. We're putting the pockets, and the other 50% are now somewhere in the streets of Louisville being carved into <laughs> ships by the homeless. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, there was there was just like a lot of people just talking about it. They're taking, yeah. you know, um, the coins, so there's yeah. not like a hard Is it a challenge coin? Sure. I challenge you to get a beer with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's it's not a hard number, but at least it's you know it's there to, for us to talk, for them to talk about. Yeah, so we definitely represent the podcast and had a lot of fun, and and it was good to do that business session with the Sonic Light Podcast. I think I might have had. It. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of which, yeah, if you guys out there want coins, uh, we'll send them to you. If you don't see us to you know yeah, personally get us. Yeah, if you're, if you're in us. another state and you want to promote us, we'll mail you a bag of. Coins. Yeah, yeah, just uh, email us at, at refreshment at, at gmail.com and, uh, or just leave a comment on this episode or any other episode. We'll yeah. try and take care of it. Happen. Slide in our DMs. Yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Slide into so, our DMs. Yeah, our, uh, our DMs is coming soon. Yeah, our DMs are very welcoming. <laughs> <laughs> I like how when I passed one out at Grand Lodge, I ended up seeing it in the urinal. Oh! <laughs> But then again, though, later when I was peeing in the urinal, I was aiming for the uh, for the token, and then I was like, actually, I bet a lot of people are aiming for this thing. So that's why I'm like, I bet yeah. a lot of people are reading it anyway. So whoever did that, you might have just hey, gave us a new idea. I, I pissed on your label. Whatever, dude. The urinal cake branding, I guess. <laughs> you got to get in where you fit in these days, yeah. dude. Yeah. Branding is a harsh mistress. No, yeah. that's an idea. It's yeah. true. That is very true. It is very. Uh... 
you know. But you know what? Yeah. No, honestly, man, hey, I don't give a care. They do whatever they want. They, they, they yeah, take it's no big deal. deal. I thought it was funny because I, I did awesome. end up putting coins up on a urinal. So when guys are like, "What's that?" and they can grab it later, but I'm like, maybe they grab it. How much time did you spend in this bathroom? <laughs> 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 well, my bladder doesn't work as well as it did when I was 20, so I had to go to the bathroom a couple times, and then I grab coins and I put them out there. So. Huh. You and I, I did that. We went to the bathroom at that one uh, one bar. The uh, black cat. What was it? He's bringing me into the bathroom. Oh fuck you! <laughs> what you boys up to over there? You know how far I am. All these hey, 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 hey. hey! Oh no! Oh, it's just my cane. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, man. No, yeah, you guys just, kind of, uh, aren't high enough, I guess, in the conspiracy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're not high enough. Yeah, we don't, conspiracy. yeah. No, but you know what, though, going back to the Supreme, um, it was nice actually just meeting in real life in people, not not like this virtual stuff. Just, you know, space, you know just talking to guys back, on... Uh, back to the basics yeah. type of a thing. Yeah. You know, because like I, like, like I said, I wish I was, it was killing me that I wasn't there. It really was, because there's a lot of... Uh, fellow brothers and prophets and whatnot that I've ju- I just know on on Facebook and I really would and, like to have got to meet a few of them. And you know what though like cuz at least for me personally it was it was kind of the craziest thing too cuz like you know I mean like as much as we or at least for me like you know I like to poo poo uh, zoom and all that stuff like you know um, shout out to to Candace and doing like those weekly grew uh, grotto zoom meetings Candace Candace um, you know, like, it's actually nice to put, like, a real-life person behind, you know, um, when you see them on the screen and stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, so you see Candace and, um, and the Humphreys and, you know, just all of them. And, like, when you walk in you're like, and they're, like, coming up to you, I'm like, oh, okay, like, how, where, you know, like, type yeah. of thing. So, yeah. so it was nice. Monarch, uh, yeah. hey, way too many people. Yeah. And then, you know what, too, too, when you meet somebody for the first time that you only knew them through passing, or not even passing, but, like, on Facebook, is like not everybody looks the same as their pictures or videos. They True. really don't. Yeah. You yeah. know? And you're like, wait a minute, I know oh you know, I got it. I know where I I know where I know you from, yeah. you know, and everything. Right. But um but yeah, no, that was just that was one of the things that I wish the most is like there's a lot of guys, you know, fellow brothers and prophets that I could I wish I could have met in person that you guys got to meet. And um and then, yeah. just in general, dude, it's like you know, when we went to the first one last Branson, year, yeah. Branson. Well, Branson, well, our I mean, first one, our not, first one, yeah, no, but yeah. yeah, it was just so much fun, and you know, I'm so I'm so happy for you guys that you guys got to go, and just I wish I could. Yeah, we uh, taste another little bourbon here on deck. Yeah, um, this is another go-to of mine, classic, um, right there. Classic. Yeah, and there, uh, another one where I don't know where it went. Uh, the uh, Knob Creek, uh, with, it's, right oh, oh, it's right in front of me. Yeah, these are my usual go-to ones. When I, when I drink uh, whiskey, okay. um, but right now we're just gonna have a little bit of this bullet. Um, it's like a hundred proof. Ooh. Like that. Uh, ninety proof. That's like a hundred. Cast strength. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is the oak, so yeah, this is a hundred proof. The same uh, as their regular, uh, their regular or classic. Uh, so, how would you describe the the difference in these? You know, what what makes they're, them? They're which very one do you com- like over the other. Or they're why? they're very comparable, and that's why I drink them. They're for the strength that they are, it is very smooth. Um, and you're yeah. pouring it into a bullet shot glass there. Yeah. That's a bullet. That's branding on <laughs> yeah. branding on branding. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I usually drink so, this when I go to the Oswego Inn. Shout out to them. So it's it's really smooth. It goes good with a you know like the Camacho cigar I smoke. It goes really well with it. Um, yeah, if you drink it wrong, yeah, it will burn. But uh, I usually drink doubles of these; they're pretty neat. So, uh, yeah, give it, give it a taste. Yeah, it's good. You running? It's always it's nice good, good to bourbon. You running over there? Oh yeah, you're yeah, running bad. Go yeah, I got a, almost kind of a canoe over there. Well, then, yeah. dude, what's happening? Do I gotta well, cut it and start over? No, 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 no. You just gotta, you just, just kind of burn it at that end you a little bit more. You gotta kind of play through the pain. Yeah, now. you gotta, you gotta kind of play through it. Don't like, don't, you like don't hot box it. Uh, yeah, off. it's like a joint, man. When yeah. you start running, like, I don't like that shit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm the torture over here. Over here. But, uh, try and rot like when you're smoking. Try and rotate 
as you're kind of like puffing. Well, I think yeah, I just I set was, it I'm down and it burns the, the back. Too, yeah. Well, no, yeah, like, I, I was told rotate when you but I was told when you're puffing on it, rotate. I truly smoke or enjoy a cigar. Yeah, exactly. Or how to cut it. I didn't. I was unsure of all of that. Here, what you got to do is hold on. When you when you when you get a what happens? See. You, when you start off, then how do you know you don't hit when you okay, rest hold on. It. Everybody does it who's my, is going to judge me be because hard. everyone it's likes it the, the way they want it. it. Okay. Yeah. But, but when you first start off, what I usually do is I light the cigar, the, the lighter, and I kind of go around it. You kind of char, you know, char it a little bit, get a good little little char going around the ring and everything, kind of balance it out, and then you switch, and then you kind of like you kind of fan it a little bit. But you kind of you know either you fan it this way or you do the circles. You gotta try and make sure you're doing it all even, and usually it'll it'll it, it should burn correctly. And also too is like, I mean it's like, again this is preference. You know as you're smoking, yeah, you kind of give it a little turn, give it a gentle, you know, rotation. Give, yeah, that's little, it. Little rotation. You know, give it a little, give it a little like rotisserie chicken. Yeah. yeah, you know that's all. I mean, dude, like now is it, now I've, I've heard. Are you supposed to ash cigars, or you just let you kind of let it, it natural? It depends. Yeah, I mean, you kind of naturally do it, but also too. Okay, just, look it. I don't uh, like well enough. Like there's a, like uh, there's, a, there's a there's a few cigar groups I belong to. There are some times where you know some guys oh, just try to acid. show. Yeah, where they try to they so try like, to like hold the tower, edge. Like yeah, like the, you it's know, and then you 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 show it off. And like some people are like, dude, that ash, man. You're like, wow. He's <laughs> like, I, I, I probably was that sweet <laughs> ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, some people are like that. And it's, like, it's if you, a, it's, it's, a, it's like, you know, if you could get the, if you could have the whole, the whole thing and have like about an inch left, man, you, you're like, wow, that's dedication. Because you're smoking these, most sticks will last you a good hour plus, you know, depending on the stick. And to, to really have that dedication to kind of, you you got to have a steady hand. And, you know, after a while, you kind of got to be careful the way you smoke it. Yeah, you're almost snorkeling it, really. Yeah, you are. You know, and then, you, you know, it's just something to show off. It means you're not going to get an award you gotta be or nothing. On, you know, you got to be on the... Uh, well, there's probably an award somewhere. Uh, you got to be laying on a hammock Ripley's, or the, uh, is there a, is there a Ripley's, the couch uh, that's outside. Uh, uh, smoke it to the end. Longest yeah. cigar ash or... I don't know. If not, you should, we should do it real quick because there's no we can do a shitty one to still win this year. That'd be fun, right? <laughs> but it's actually because I hack all my ash. Down. So, yeah. what'd, you, what'd you think of the whiskey? Whiskey was good. whiskey's good. It's I mean, I told you for the strength, it's really smooth. Isn't yeah, it's it? not bad. It's, it, yeah. it's nice, um, dude. That is good. That is really good. Yeah, it's really. You good. know, I, and actually, I if you're um, a fan, what's the uh, uh, Deadwood, the fan of uh, the Deadwood series from HBO, mm-hmm. this is. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they love that, that word. Um, but th- this was in there. I'm like, that's bullet whiskey. I think I, bullet's been around for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, I just didn't know. Well, I started drinking it. Kind of like I just never looked bourbon. when it, you know, when they started, but I was like, wow. That, it was just, no, so it's, it's like, a little stronger, though. It's a little stronger. It's strong, more but of a for, stronger, like, like but, taste but, okay, to it than the now, other. Now, if you try was, this, if you try this, smooth. if you try this, it's not as smooth as that, but no, it's but. still smooth for its strength. Yeah. And this is not... Well, that's the strength, I guess, I didn't consider. This is... What's the proof of this one? Uh, there is actually very per batch. They can be uh, bonded because they're always over. This is 100... This is about 109. That's the peerless oh, okay. we're talking so, about. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's why it's a little smoother, yeah. Another dude, this one. is a nice bottle. Yeah, that's Man, amazing, that is, dude. I got, a, I got a few of those around the house. We too. apologize to our podcast listeners that can't see all this stuff, but we yeah. encourage you to go on YouTube and watch. Yeah, exactly. Man, that is dead. Another good that's one that, that we should have brought today is Buffalo Trace. Buffalo that's, Trace is good. That's probably one of my favorite bourbons. And Buffalo do you guys know Trace. a little bit Buffalo more Trace, about it, yeah. or how would you describe that yeah. in comparison? Uh, you know, I'd say I'd say it was almost comparable to the one that Marty brought us. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I myself am not quite a, a bullet fan. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of the go-to. It's it's what you drink when you don't have Buffalo Trace. <laughs> but uh, I I uh, I'd have to say it'd be a little more smokier, like this this Kentucky one. Yeah. I almost bought uh, the Jefferson uh, Reserve, the Ocean Ocean okay. Cast, but I, I wanted to get more more beer because I wanted to do a couple different things, yeah. not just not just whiskey. Yeah. So. so what about like a Johnny Walker, like Blue Label or Black that's Label? A that's, that's a Scotch. That's which, a scotch. Which, which is different. Have have different. Oh, we do have so we have a yeah. Scotch. It's yes. This is called... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. We're going to go into a third segment here. So uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Hey, 
And we're back. Um, before we left, uh, Mark, you were going to tell us about this scotch that you brought us. Uh, yes. To so I decided to throw a curveball in this whole like whiskey and cigar thing, and I brought a scotch here. And um, I, you know, since I don't speak Scottish, I'm going to probably butcher it, but it's called Kaolilla. 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 But anyways, Kaolilla. Kaolilla. Yeah, God, we're bro. sorry, but man, yeah. this. Yeah, we're no, so we're dumb. So, so this is uh, way different because this is an Islay single malt Scotch whiskey. So, uh, so there's different kinds of scotches actually, and Islay is more peaty than anything else. Because I mean, I know Yoshi, you actually got um, got a hold of it. This was here yeah. in my Glen Cairn uh, glass, um, and yeah, I mean, like it's really yeah, that smoky. Is, that is, is this is something. See, so all I know about scotches is from. Uh, like blue label Slow and stuff like that, where you can taste a little smokiness in it. But like, how would you how would you describe it and compare it to like a bourbon or something? You this know, is like, way like way so. So here's the thing: they're both whiskeys, but these guys are way different. Yeah. It's yeah, they're so it like is, that has more of a caramely taste. One this is a more of a smoky taste, more of a you you make sweet mouth love to the earth when you really drink scotch. Yeah. It's kind of about where it came from, the water it came from. Yeah. How yeah. many, how much yeah. peach you use. Scotch is a different animal. It really it is. Is. Scotch it is, is very totally different. Is. I mean, it like, is. and there's different laws, too, like with bourbon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. With yeah. bourbon, there's... you need from, like, real, yeah. like, um, un or not aged, like, not used well, wait, barrels. Well, is wait, isn't, <clears throat> excuse me, bourbon is a... An American spirit. It's pure American. Like this you, is you pure know, American. Bourbon, like same thing with you know. You with can Scottish, only use the barrels. Scotch barrels once has to be from, from Scotland or whatever. Correct. Bourbon has to come from American soil water. You know, and it has to be at least fifty one percent corn to be called bourbon. Yeah. 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 And okay. um, the, yeah. <laughs> it's even spelled different. This is spelled with an e. This is spelled without an e. Yeah. Okay. So so this is different. They're different beasts. Yeah. But it's one of those things where, you know, I mean, it's, it's everybody's taste. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, what you like. let's have a little bit of this. It's, it's what you like. Ooh, yeah. yeah, right? And then, so, and this, and this is a, you this, can like, smell the smokiness in it. Yeah. So, so this is, that's a sipping whiskey, whereas this wow. one, you know, you can mix it, you cannot, but this one's just pure. Look, it, hold on. All right. All liquor is supposed to be sipping. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The whole shot thing, you're not supposed to really yeah. shoot yeah. liquor. Yeah. Okay. No, All liquor is you're supposed to have this, and you, you sip it throughout, you know. And true, you know, I mean, people just being who we are, you know, people yeah. just start shooting. I, I, like drink, you know? I, I will say bullet though. I know it most for uh, Manhattans and things like that. A lot mm. of good restaurants you go to, they do a bullet, you know, Manhattan or uh, yeah. old fashioned. Are you gonna pour this in there, or water afterwards? You want? Take a no, no. You, you just take a sip. Take... All right, now pour another one. Another scotch. And even just a drop of water, it opens oh, yeah. up. It opens it, it, up yeah. way more. When you add water, you're supposed like, to drink. So it yeah. opens the flavor? It opens yeah. the flavor, yes. It loosens ah, it. Yeah. So, okay, okay. Think yeah. about that almost as a concentrate. And I know that's yeah. not the right word, but think about the same thing. Yeah. Difference. Big difference. Right? There's a big wow. difference. That's how you're supposed to yeah. drink scotch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to have I mean, Never on ice. It was just like literally a drop or two of purified water. Yeah, I don't even like drinking my bourbon with ice, really. No. No, I you, I like drinking it straight. Yeah. You know what, man? But... I'm not going to lie. I'm an on-the-rocks guy. Yeah. Or but if you, know you go to a part? nice place and they have the sphere, oh, man, that dude, I don't care. That, that That's that's oh, living. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. living right there. I've, I've had that. I just, I really, really, uh, sounds weird, but I guess room temperature bourbon mm. is it's, well, all, no, it's, it's all preference. preference. It's, it's all preference. preference. It's all preference. That just, no. this is how I like it. I like it. If, if I like anything, cold. I like Cold drinks. If anything, yeah. don't let anybody shame you into what your preference is. Yeah, no, yeah. never. And that actually brings me into my Marty moment of this episode. There we go. Oh, Marty little moment. Marty moment. Yeah. Yeah. The Marty I moment. This a little bit, but actually, uh, while we were doing this, and as we stumbled for certain terminology and different things, I know we're going to hashtag this, probably cigar, this or that, and there's going to be a lot of aficionados who think they know stuff, they got these great palettes and all this stuff, that are going to go, oh, they're novices, oh, this man. or that. Yeah, we're no Don't we're let anyone ever big time you out of knowing things there's a lot of people that get into masonry and then you got these super like esoteric masons they're like well let me explain this to you and they make you feel bad dude i buy my wine at aldi <laughs> i buy my bourbon different places don't be intimidated by this type of stuff and if anyone ever tries to intimidate you from cigars or wine or spirits and all that they're a dick yeah like true. what you like pay for what you like yep. never be afraid to ask questions that's how you learn things Go into any good whiskey tasting, go into any cigar store, and if they don't take time to explain everything to you, 
if expect you know when you go when you go into a place to buy any sort of spirits or cigars and everything, if they don't got somebody that's w- there willing to help you, you know, it's when you walk in, it's not a good establishment. No, you know they'll ask you questions. What are you in the mood for? Yeah, you know, let them know. Be like, hey, I'm new to this. You know, I'm not. I'm not a, like you know. I'm a novice at this. They will help you. You know, they'll they'll explain stuff to you. You know, would you do? You, you know, do you want something earthy? Do you want something smoky? Do you want full bodied? Do you want mild? You know, and and, and talk to them. And tell if them, you don't know what that is, tell them. Hey, I don't yeah, know. yeah. They'll explain okay, it to you. Know. Any yeah. good place will yeah. explain all of that to you. I, I mean, mean same, same thing with the dispensaries. Yeah, me yeah. Too. No, I mean, I mean, because I remember actually this was um, at a Supreme years ago. I think it was twenty either twenty sixteen or twenty seventeen. Um, it was in Petersburg, Ohio, when when Corb, shout out to Corb, uh, was running for captain of the guard. Um, and um, Ivan and I, we went to a cigar place. And we're just enjoying our smokes, and these guys just came in, like, just, it was basically, like, they didn't know what was going on, and, I mean, I just kind of guided them, I'm like, here, like, this is, like, this is what you're looking yep. for, like, you know, do you want heavy, do you want light, you know, I, I just kind of, you know, once they took them under my wing, but more of just kind of, like, you know, I'm not going to be a snob about it, you know, I was there once, so, I mean... There's no point of like shaming somebody if they don't know. Everybody no. starts at the bottom, whatever yeah. they you do. Know, it doesn't matter. No one's an expert going into somewhere. anything. Look at look at bottom line is this. No matter what you do, no matter what if it's if it's if it's bourbons, whiskeys, vodkas, masonry, masonry, <laughs> comic books, movies, music, there's nerds in all of them. And there's the good nerds, there's the good nerds that are gonna help you along, and then there's those stuck up nerds that think they just know everything and they look down. Hey, do you know what they all have yeah. in common? Huh. I don't know, Raj. They're all wearing green. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but no, it just again, you know, reinforcing what Marty said, no matter what it is you do, you know, don't be don't be afraid to ask. You know, talk to somebody. And if they and if they re- if they are rude about it or like uh, you know then, dude, you know, that's not where you need to be. No, and, you know, no, no. Take time to be an apprentice in your lodge, in your life, yeah. with your views on faith. Sit under the learning tree as much as possible. Yep. And if anyone ever makes you feel weird oh. that you don't know, you're asking questions and you're still on your journey, that's on them. It's not on you at all. No. Take your time. Love life. Explore life. Find what you like. Don't be afraid to ask questions and love each other. Explore, yeah, try something absolutely. new. Don't you know? But always and love what you love. Like so. when you guys went out to the Supreme Councils here, it's when you go out to do when you meet up with a couple brothers that you know you might be meeting from online and stuff. When you get to go to these places, when me and Wes go to Scottish Rite events, we're usually staying there the night before or something, or we get there early, or we go out, or we go out for lunch, or there's so many different things where we try to go find a cigar bar, we try to go out to a local bar try to get some drinks and try to just feel out the area and the environment and really experience like you know what it's like there and uh, you know check out the vibes and vibes are you'll, different yeah, yeah, yeah. Vibes you'll are find good. the yeah. cigars you'll find the whiskeys you'll find all the things you like and you get to enjoy them with different people and different vibes and it's it's a really cool thing to do it's yeah. so that's one of the great things about masonry that is outside of the blue lodge you know that the culture, really, man. Yeah. No, and it, be, is. And, it and is. And being a vibe connoisseur is the best. Yeah. When you go different places and you get to partake in their, you know, rituals. I don't mean their lodge rituals. I mean their fellowship rituals yeah. and things of that nature. Yeah. Oh, we like to go to this restaurant. We go to that yeah. restaurant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you know what? One guy's wife always cooks dinner. Awesome. Go. Learn about it. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Yeah. 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 You, yeah, know, you never know about. what you're going to find. Yep. Especially in this uh, fraternity, this order, you never know what you're going to find out there. Yeah. Go visit. Go talk to somebody. Get out of your shell. Just, you know, do yeah. it. It's and that's a fun time. About, about Masonry and actually being able to travel and meet all these different people. And, yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, get to experience those, those vibes. You uh, you were just a drifter on Greyhound buses till you found up, right? <laughs> 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 so, uh, with that, one other thing we're going to bring up is Supremes is going to be in uh, Orlando, Florida next year. Is that right? Shout out to Tali's convention. It's, Tali. Uh, Tali. Tali. It goes into July 4th. I know a lot of us from Cheyenne are going to be going a little bit early to check out Universal Studios and Disney or wherever we want to get into. But it's going to be at the Rose and Crown or Crown <clears throat> Plaza or something like that. I, I we'll put all the information in I'm not in from here. the area. I know, but <coughs> we'll get all the information out to everybody. But if you want to know about, you know, grottos, check out scgrotto.org. Check out everything you can. Feel free to explore. And we'll get all the information out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. or if you have questions about that, or reach Scott. out to us. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, we can guys. steer you in the right direction, you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, in in the comments, just you know, yeah. interact with us. Comments yeah. at refreshment at yeah, gmail dot com. An interview with Juan Sepulveda when you guys are in Orlando. I think he lives outside of Orlando. Oh, does he? I think so. In the winding stairs. Hey, I don't know. That I don't know. Well, probably after the session next year, I'll come back with, I met the guy from the winding <laughs> stairs. I don't know if I met him or his entourage, <laughs> but it might have been him. <laughs> I knew somebody of somebody who knew them. <laughs> you looked like yeah. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Yeah, every year it's going to be some other podcast. Yeah, I met them. I don't know if I really did or not. Maybe. It's got to be a I thing. I feel like I've met you all. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, with that, I, uh, we're going to come to an end. But uh, before, I bought this special treat for us. I thought it would be pretty neat. Uh, this is a Buffalo Trace. Is it really? Yes. White dog. Right. White dog. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, actually, I didn't actually, say anything, smartass, because I, I wanted to wait. <laughs> I actually haven't had that one. It's a mesh. Uh, 120 proof. I figured that's about us. We give 120 effort when we drink. Just not in the show. So, I mean, if anything, this is what Ooh. goes in before it goes in the barrel. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, that's kind of what I was wondering. So, what would this be? Uh, how would you categorize this? Basically, legal moonshine. moonshine. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> yeah, later before we start pouring this. I was gonna say, are you gonna light it on fire? Are we gonna yeah. Fire? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, right. I'm not well, Brock going the extra distance I've on this show. I heard a way to test good and bad moonshine. If you burn it and yeah, it yeah. burns blue, blue. Yeah. It's, it's good. Yep. Yeah. And if it burns red. You're dead. dead. Run your lawnmower. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. If, it, if it burns red, So, are, wait, not... are we going to try this? Yes. 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 All right. All right. Pour it out. Yeah, pour a little. No, I mean, and try lighting it on fire. No. 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 Like, no. you know, make it in your bathtub kind of moonshine. Yeah. It that, burns that, yeah. blue. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought we grottoed hard around here. Oh, yeah, shut up, dude. I'm not calling <laughs> the fire department. Yeah, no. Yeah. We're not trying to burn down a house right now, okay? Chill. <laughs> My fiance is gonna come back. Yeah. There has hey, to be a house. Here. Hey, full shots all around, or? <laughs> yeah. No. no. Who wants a full shot? No. no. I do, I do all right, Marty and I will do a full shot. Oof. We're gonna die. Yeah, we are. Hey, you know what? It's better like than Malort. Ten percent. I love Malort. I like Malort. Yeah, Malort's right, good. Right, right, right. Maybe once okay, in a while, right. but. Man, Ooh, oh, it kind of smells wicked. good. Actually, uh, fun fact for anybody that uh, becomes a Mason in Barrington, I always buy them a full Malort shot. <laughs> big spender. <laughs> Not big spender. It's just more hey, of like a Benny's lighter. See? That's where uh, we got uh, most of our alcohol lights. today was Benny's, so shout out to them. Buffalo Trace, there I go. So I remember the name, I but I want to get all this right. And this also doubles as really expensive hand sanitizer for these COVID eras. Yeah. 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 There you go. I think after drinking this, we won't need the uh, COVID, uh, COVID vaccine, right? <laughs> Not half. Not half. This All convenes right. on the COVID. Well, <laughs> this uh, shout out and shots out goes out to Alex Ruiz, the blacksmith who won season five, episode 13 of Forge and Fire. Woo, Got a woo. hold of us uh, yesterday, which is Friday, recording this episode. Uh, shouts out to you. Thank you for thank watching. Thank you, brother. Yeah, yeah thank you. Brother. Appreciate it. And I watched that show, man, and it was awesome. Yeah. Because as soon as I heard I had to watch it, yeah, I was like, yeah. wow, how cool. Clink, 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 And I believe same time. one more. Uh, thanks to my fiance for letting us have this uh, cigar session in our kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. So thank, thank, you. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. for letting me go through their medicine cabinet. That didn't happen. All right. All at the same time, right? All right, here we go. Woo-wee. I could taste the corn. Woo. Yeah. It wow. Yeah, tastes. there's some ethanol for you. Yeah. It tastes <laughs> sweet, though. Almost like no, vanilla. this was good. Yeah, this, this is really good. good. But wow. Ooh. I might have enough yeah. room Ooh. in my gas tank for that in my car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that, that's the um, first in the session of the At the Farm series. So um, thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to shout out and shouts out, leave a comment or email us at, at refreshment at gmail.com. Once again, thanks for watching. We love you all. Take care. See you soon. Stay tuned for clips. Like and subscribe. <laughs>